let's see which of these I want to work on. Let's put that here and this here. These are the paintings I started in Italy last summer when I took an oil painting course. Hmm, that's my board. Palette board. So there's this one with the houses. I don't want to work on that right now. I think I'll work on this castle. Hi, I'm Marion Serena and I'm an artist. I've um, done a lot of painting and acrylics and now I'm going back to oils, which is what I started. And this summer I took a plein air painting course in Tuscany with uh, the teacher Mel Williamson. She's from here, from Salt Spring Island. And uh, we and the, the premises were run by uh, Raffaele Nobile and um, I'll, I'll link everything below later. And it was just a fantastic experience. And now it is January 1st, and so I'm going to start my first daily blog, daily painting blog, and I'm just starting to set up here. And my motto for this year is start, start with what you have and where you are. So I'm in my apartment, and I'm filming with my iPhone, and I don't even have a tripod yet. I'll show you how I've set it up. So I think you can see this. I'm balancing it, sorry, balancing it on these books and boxes. And I prop my phone in this candle because that keeps it from falling over. And below me here, I have, or in front of me, I should say, this is the painting I'm going to work on um, now. I started this in Italy, Italy, and then I've got my um, image here that I took, the photo that I took. So I'll be using that as my reference. And I've got a few paints here. I've got this Gamsol odorless mineral spirits for cleaning the brushes, um, Opus essential linseed oil. Because I live in Vancouver, I buy a lot of stuff from Opus. This is where I keep this. And pliers I use to help me open the um, caps sometimes they're hard to open a few brushes a cloth my palette and that's about it for now okay so I think what I'm going to start doing is just mixing some of the greens I'm just going to work on some of the greens because it's pretty late already this evening and it takes a bit of fiddling setting everything up I thought I would just start at least on one thing. So let me just move this more into the center where you can see it, I think. I hope so. I have some thalo blue and some cadmium yellow pale. And I also have cadmium yellow medium. And ah, good, this one I can open. You can see the different kinds of green that these one blue and these two yellows will mix. And I'm going to use a small palette knife and small palette knife. Just take a bit of this blue and I would like to just thin it a bit with the Gamsol. I hope you can see this really well. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this pale yellow that's a very bluey yellow at the moment, bluey green, I should say. If I just do a little bit right here with that, all of that yellow, you can see more the type of yellow that is, the sorry, the type of green. And then I can look on my painting to see where I might use it, maybe here. And then I'm just gonna clean off my palette knife I'll take a little bit more of that blue that I didn't use there. And this is the deeper yellow. So it makes a darker green. And if I just use a little bit, let's take a little bit. 
think I have that. This is a bit more of a sage green than the other, than the first one. And I'm just mixing it till I see that it's one color and not, and it doesn't have streaks of the yellow or streaks of the blue. Okay, so now I'm not sure how much you can see there. So I'll just put it like this and I'm gonna take quite a small brush I think this is a good one and dip it in Gansel. So it's good to start with painting thin and I'm looking over at my uh, reference image over here. And so now I haven't painted this for a while. So I'm just going to see what does this look like on this tree here. Yeah, that's a pretty good green actually compared to the image I'm looking at. So just do it quite thin. I think when I was learning to do plein air, I started painting too thick in the beginning. And this tree needs lots of round, bushy things. I I always layer my painting, paint what I'm painting. So I look at shapes and I look at dark and light and of course at color. So that's more a little bit like that. That's like that. Now this is quite a different green than I had there. But that's okay because I'm going to add more layers on. And these branches kind of go up and down. And later what I'll do is I'll add more dark in there to give a contrast. And then I'll put more light stuff on top. Now these olive, these are olive trees in the foreground and they look quite, um, they're a softer sage green. So see how handy this is, these pliers. There we go. <clears throat> I'm going to add some white and see if this mixed with this green if if it's a a color that I like. I always put the lids on right away or otherwise I'll forget and then they'll dry out. So let's see what it's like if I add white. Now often I'll hold up my palette knife to that or or against my reference image, which you can't see, but I'll hold it here. It's a bit dark there. Okay, so that's pretty light. Let's just get the gist of this tree like this and like that. And if I were doing a whole session and taking more time, I would start with dark in the back. It's just that I said, start with what I have, and here I am starting. <laughs> so it'll be fine. Change the direction of my brush a bit. This sort of bushy stuff sticking out kind of comes down here. And then over here, there's light shining here. So that. So I always build up my paintings uh, in several layers. So I've just added a little bit of color and um, I think that's a good start for day one of vlogging about my painting. Okay, I think this is where I'm going to end it because I reached my goal of starting. I did a little bit of painting, it was hardly anything, but I'll do uh, quite a bit more tomorrow. I, I often find, and I'm sure a lot of you have found the same, Starting is often the hardest thing. So now I've got my paint set up, my reference image. Um, I'm remembering back what I had been doing before on this painting. And as I showed you before, um, I think just adding that little touch of paint on there has already made this a more dynamic painting. It's very flat. I haven't done anything in the foreground here. But uh, anyway, if you enjoy this, follow along while I paint or while I go for walks and find uh, things that inspire me to do more paintings. I think I'll do a few paintings from the recent trip to Europe that I took. So anyway, I'll start with this and then I'll see what happens. And I'd love to hear your comments and have you join along and uh, be kind to me and to each other. And I'll see you the next time. Thank you.